we're going to practice how to find the volume of an object that is irregularly shaped. The first step we're going to use is water displacement. It doesn't matter what volume we start at, as long as the entire object can be submerged. For example, if I use a steel bolt, I need to make sure my volume starts somewhere over 75 milliliters, but less than 90, so I can see how much the object increases, but making sure all parts of the steel bolt are underwater. If I only put part of the bolt underwater, I will not have accurate results, and if it goes over 100 milliliters, I'm unable to measure that amount in this graduated cylinder. I need to record my starting volume so I know where I started. Then I'm going to carefully put in my object, trying not to spill or splash out the water. Then I will once again look at the volume, remembering both times that the graduated cylinder should be on a flat surface and at eye level. I'm going to repeat these steps with all three objects and make sure to record my information each time. Then in order to find my mass, I will place the object on the balance to calculate its mass. I will use the formula for density to calculate its density, mass divided by volume. Comparing my last lab and this one, I can see none of the blocks or objects are made of the same material because they all have different densities. The closest were the plastic block and the nylon spacer, but they had slightly different results. All of the irregular objects were more dense than water, but the white block and wax block were less dense than water.